open up the 700. Uh, Sort of worn out uh, locking bearing, I'd say. Yeah, one way. Could probably weld this in now, this glass is better. If that's supposed to be warped, it's pretty warped. So, I'm guessing the lockup clutch is riveted inside there. That's a pretty weak looking clutch. Really what do you expect from that? Because that looks pretty light duty, a single uh, single clutch. I guess we could open this up with the old plasma cutter. This is what I wanted to see. Worth doing. It's just a bunch of springs. <laughs> it probably is the lockup, but there's no clutch material anywhere, unless there was some on this. That's kind of a cool piece. I don't know. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not putting it back together, because I got some no idea how it goes back together. A bunch of shit. That'd be a hammer time valve spring or something. Probably wouldn't even compress. You could stick this inside of a valve spring, make a make a hammer time valve spring. Maybe these were doubled up. Yeah, maybe they were. They fit good together. Hammer time, and then a bunch bunch of crap fell in the neighbor's yard. I wonder what makes this locking. Who knows? I'm gonna go to the transmission shop and find out. Cause that's really irritating. I just did all that and it doesn't even doesn't even have a clutch like a clutch. It's not even a clutch. I'm pissed off now. Can't even say, look how worn out this is, because it looks fine. Except for a bunch of weld holes, or plasma cutter holes. Plasming. No clutch. I don't see how this locks up at all. What's this piece? No clutch material. Just this funny doodad. I 
against a bunch of springs. So is that the lockup? Is it just a big myth that the torque converter wears out? There's nothing in here to wear out. Except a little one-way sprag, but I don't see the uh, significance in that. That's... <sighs> I feel it's the consumer market trying to sell us new torque converters with their transmission. 